go back as executive. Okay? You table it in cabinet, you table this cons because even if I send you to the committee now, there's nothing you will table there before going and consulting with the cabinet. This would be an issue of a supplemented budget if it is to be handled. So go back, go back, you share with the cabinet, you raise these concerns, and then you report back to the House in two weeks. Yes, one of the what would be? Uh, Mr. Speaker, the reason we had, the reason we had suggested the, com the committee is because now Parliament gets involved to look at finer details of the figures. That's number one. The minister would go to the same committee. The people who shared out this money the way they did will go to the same committee, would be in a position to understand first how did we get to where we are, that we're even looking for a supplementary. We are struggling. Even the original budget you passed here twice, Mr. Speaker, cannot be implemented. I saw the PSST telling the nation that he has released money for the first quarter, 5.5 trillion. We were expecting 18.5 trillion, and he released only 5.5. So even when you talk of supplementary, you must be able to understand, first, where is it going to come from? Two, who led us to where we are? Are we so helpless that we cannot identify officers that led us to this mess? Thank you. Honorable Segona, what you are saying is what I'm coming to. Okay? And that's why I've said the minister, in two weeks, he first reports back here. You first give him a chance. Then when a statement comes, that statement will still have issues. We can easily now send it to the committee. I usually, I usually want to first give them a chance than rushing to the committees. Okay? Yeah. Next item. Right Honorable Speaker, this is a matter of survival for the men in uniform, for the people who keep land order, for the people who guard this country. I hope everybody does appreciate the challenge before us. And Mr. Speaker, through you, I want to request that this matter be referred to the committee so that these people come and tell us how they shared the money we gave them. So that parliament assists them to implement the intention of the people of Uganda through this parliament was to, inc was to give a salary increase to the low ranking officers of police so that they can be able to afford to survive in, in, in this country, to, to survive and their families. Mr. Speaker, I, I want to move a motion that this matter goes to the committee and then this, a report be brought to this parliament so that we can understand exactly where the problem is. In, in please, please, Honorable colleague, allow the speaker to do his work. Yes. Much right, 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 Honorable Speaker. Thank you. Sure. The House very well. I want to know, the, you had already enhanced military officers from the rank, is it of major, from captain? No, 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 from, from major upwards, okay? But you didn't do it for police, okay? You didn't do it for police. And what you run is matched against each security sector, which is more or less a single spine salary structure. Uh, so that you have an equivalent of a police, a senior police officer at this rank is equivalent to the one in military. So where the aim now to cure that defect where the senior officers in police were complaining that you enhance the ones of UPDF, but you left us out. If, if that was the issue, you should also put it here, we understand it. Yes. 